Hello everyone. My name is Queen Blessing Nibig, is popularly known as Black Queen. I'm a Nollywood actress and a filmmaker. I'm the president and founder of Queen Blessing Foundation and the vice president of Association of Women Producers Nigeria. This morning, I just want to talk about the the lady they killed in Sokoto, uh, Miss Deborah. Um, I made a post about it already, and I totally condemned the act. And I just feel like still putting out a video. You know so that people can actually know where i stand i'm a christian yes i'm from a family that is mixed i have muslim brothers i have um, christians but i have traditionalists there's no one i don't have in my family i'm from a very large family and we've learned over the years to tolerate each other's beliefs religion and i think that is how it should be if you are a traditionalist I'm not going to come and condemn you. I'll preach to you, yes, to accept my Jesus Christ. And I'm not going to force you. If one day you think that what you're doing, you prefer this, and you think this will lead you to heaven, this heavenly race, everybody, we're running it individually. It's individually wrong, okay? Then you're welcome to join me. But I won't force you, and I will not condemn your belief. I mean, it's human rights. We need to respect each other's belief. Okay, and then if you are a Muslim and you feel that everybody feels their own religion is the best, that is the truth. I believe that me as a Christian is the best religion. You as a Muslim believe that is the best religion. However, it doesn't matter. Let's just learn how to tolerate each other. I have cousins who are Muslims. They have been the best cousins I've had. They are not Christians, they are Muslim. They have the kindest hearts. So when this thing happened. I spoke to one of my cousins who is a Muslim and I'm like, if this is how your religion teaches you, and then I don't agree with it. I don't think any religion that takes someone's life, no matter how it is, is a good religion. And he said to me, look, these are people that decide they want to do whatever it is they want to do in the name of Islam. There is nowhere in the Quran that he said that if you insult the prophet, that you'll be killed. Even the prophet, when he was here with us, was insulted was castigated was done he never killed anybody so why will you think that killing somebody because he said something you didn't like about the religion or about your prophet is is will make your prophet happy or i don't even know how to explain it now so he went on to say that there are ways to tackle things when you blaspheme against you know the, the prophet there's a way to handle it and that in this case those processes were not followed that these people just took laws into their hand and stoned this girl to death and they should be brought to book and i agree yes if islam has a way of tackling things when somebody blaspheme why didn't they follow that way i mean i believe there are courts or there are there are islamic rules or whatever it is that handles this thing they should have allowed due process to take its course, not just go and stone. So if anybody does anything wrong to you now and you want to kill that person, you just come and say the person blaspheme and then you just take a gun and shoot the person in disguise that it's about Islam. I don't agree with that. People talk about Jesus Christ anyhow. We don't go killing people. We leave them for God. At the end of the day, you can't fight for God. You can only correct people when you think that they've gone wrong in things or in saying things to against your religion. You correct them. If there is no place for correction, it's just that when somebody blasphemes, you just kill the person. There is no way to correct the person. There is no way those who knows better can tell this person, this thing that you've done is wrong. Don't do it next time. There's no way for correction. Then I don't agree with such religion. However, my, my cousin has told me, who is a good Muslim, that there is nothing like this in the Quran. That these people just take laws into their hands and decide to do what they want and is wrong. And some people were also saying that Atiku made a post condemning it and took it down and blah, blah, blah. See, the truth of the matter is that if you're up against aggressive people, who can decide to go and just burn down your house or kill your children or your family? <laughs> if I were in Atiku's shoes, maybe I would do the same. Because you never can tell what these people can do. Look at what is happening in Sokoto now. Because they arrested the person that killed the girl, there's riots everywhere. They are demanding the release of this person. And they've decided to, to, to be burning things and doing things. Imagine 
Everybody is afraid of their life. And somebody is saying, I cannot vote for such a presidential candidate. Look, you cannot be able to enforce any law or be able to do anything if you don't get to that position where you need to do it. We all know who the president of Nigeria is. Atiku is not the president. So if he wants to change anything, he has to first of all be the president. How do you first of all be the president? You must when they were talking about Sharia, when they wanted to make it compulsory in the whole of Nigeria. I think was one of those people that spoke highly against it and was totally against it. They abused him, they insulted him, they called him names. He still stood his ground. Where are we with Sharia today? I mean, if those kind of people were not shouting and were not talking, maybe all of us, maybe this whole country would have, would have turned to an Islamic country. Do you understand? But those people voices and everybody that came out to talk that time has made sure that everybody is on their lane and now going back to deborah the late deborah may her soul rest in peace and may god give the family the fortitude to bear the loss it's a huge loss you send your child to school and instead of your child to come back from school with the certificates and you know become a better person and take care of you when when you are old the child is being brought back in the stretcher in as a corpse I mean, there's nobody, even, I, I don't even wish that for my enemy, okay? I listened to the voice notes of this girl. That WhatsApp group was created for academically things, to post things that has to do with school, to post things that has to do with one thing or the other. And other students decided to turn that platform into a religious platform. Now, it never works. It never works when you... When you run a platform, the, the admins of those platform of, of that platform should have been spoken to or should have done something. You cannot and they must they, they, they ought to have been rules to govern that platform. This platform is strictly for academic things. Don't post religion, don't post politics, don't post this and don't post that. I belong to a lot of platforms. For instance, in our own platform as association of movie producers, we have a WhatsApp platform. There is nothing like religion. There is no copy and paste. There is no politics. The reason is because a lot of people belong to different parties. A lot of people prefer different candidates. If you come to the platform and you start quarreling and you start abusing one candidate, quarrel with both. There will be bad blood everywhere. A lot of us belong to different religions, like I stated earlier. So when you come and start saying your own religion is better than my own, then I will start argument, debate will start, this thing will start, the next thing, everywhere is on fire. So that was why we decided no religion, no politics, no copy and paste. Because people can post and keep posting one thing, even if it's true or lie, they'll just keep posting it and you just receive, receive, your phone will be full. So I think that admins of platforms should begin to look at these things. If you run a platform, no matter, it depends on what that platform is, that platform should be strictly about that thing. There shouldn't be religion and everything to avoid things like this in the future. The girl actually did not actually say anything that I think was bad. I, I speak how sir. She said that this, this platform was created for academic things. That why are you posting useless, useless things in this platform? She could have been talking about different things. Maybe it's not even only about um, religion that was being posted. Yes, maybe some people will say, and eh, she went too harsh for those who are, 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 are Muslims on that platform. Do you get? And then they decide to take love into their, into their hands and just kill her like that. I mean, it's wrong. How do you feel when you take somebody's life? People, people abuse prophets. It's not today that people insult prophets. They are prophets of God, and they are bound to be prosecuted. They are bound to be insulted. There are some people that they will be preaching to or that they will not like the preaching. Even in their time, we were told they were insulted, they were beaten, they were castigated, they were lied against. But these prophets did not take laws into their hand. They forgive these people and they ask God to forgive them too. Why is it different now? If the prophet themselves in those days didn't kill people, didn't do these things, why is it now that we, the followers, have decided that this is how we want to do our thing? It's not right. Let's place human, a human life first because nobody, none of us can create a life. We can't create a life. So a life you cannot create, which right do you have to take it? And I think I, I stand with everybody that is calling for justice to say there must be justice for Deborah because if there is no justice, tomorrow this kind of thing will happen again. It might be your child next or it might be you yourself next. This is not right. And platforms, please look after your platform whatever your platform is created for should be strictly for what it is it shouldn't be turned to a really now we are going into elections 
Before you know now, every platform will turn to a campaign platform. We should put rules. Put rules. Otherwise, there will be quarrel all the time. Anybody that wants to post anything should go to their own public platform. Everybody has Facebook, Instagram, and whatnot. Anyway, let me leave this uh, um, video here. I just wanted to put out my voice here that it is actually very, very wrong to take anybody's life, no matter what that person has done. No matter, there are laws that should take care of whatever offense anybody has committed. And until those platforms are exhausted, you don't have a right to take anybody's life. Thank you.